My mother's family is from Kyoto, and I was born here myself. Hello, and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I, Shogo, will introduce various topics about Japan. So, learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, this is your one step deeper. And today, I'm going to be talking about this topic. The title may have shocked many of you, but it's a subject that's been attracting attention in Japan for a long time. Kyoto is a beautiful city with long history, rich culture, and many national treasures. I'm sure you can imagine the temples and shrines, Maikos walking in the streets, and many delicious cuisines. This is all because Kyoto was the capital of Japan for over 1,000 years. Its culture is very unique. However, not always in a good direction. Let's take a look at two reasons why Japan hates Kyoto. First, some people in Kyoto look s down on other prefectures. In the past, when Kyoto was the capital, all the other prefectures in Japan were rural areas. So they thought, That anyone who lived outside of Kyoto were savage and uncivilized. Also in Kyoto, there are many companies and traditional culture that have centuries of history. Therefore, anything with a shorter history than them would frequently be looked down upon. By the way, this attitude can be seen between two people, both from Kyoto as well. Kyoto Prefecture has 15 cities, and the center is, of course, Kyoto City. The people of Kyoto in the past often said, The cities that are outside Kyoto City are not Kyoto. My mother's family is from outside of Kyoto City, by the way. So you can understand how exclusive the people of Kyoto are. Though, of course, not everyone in Kyoto are like this now. There are many people living in Kyoto who grew up in different prefectures. And the young generations usually don't think like this either. But from my own experience, I can say that the older generations who live in the center cities of Kyoto still have this attitude. And even a person like me who h a v e roots in Kyoto needs to be very careful when communicating with them. Next, the people of Kyoto are said to be two faced. They never say what they actually think and hide their true feelings. Why are the people of Kyoto like this? One widely accepted theory is that the people of Kyoto in the past had to hide their true feelings in order to survive. In a city with many people who have power and authority, it was important not to stand out and, above all, defy these powerful people. Now, here's a quick pop quiz on the famous Kyoto language. After I say a phrase, try to guess what the true meaning of the message is. Question number one. Your child is so energetic. The answer is shut your kid up. In Kyoto, if anyone tells you that you are energetic, it means you're loud and noisy. Also, your room is so clean means that you should clean your house more. And nice clothes means you should take a look at yourself in the mirror. Question number two. You have such a nice watch. The answer is you're talking too long. By making you look at your watch, they're trying to tell you that it's about time you stop talking. Question number three. Would you like some tea? The answer is please go home. When you visit someone's house in Kyoto, and if they offer you any tea after a while, it means it's about time you go home. This is because in most cases, people will say, Thank you, I'm good. And there will be an awkward silence. If you ever come across this situation, you should say, Well, look at the time. Thanks for having me. And leave. Many Japanese people are afraid with talking with the people of Kyoto and take their two faced personalities negatively. But you can also say that the Kyoto language is a type of kindness. 
just saying everything that comes to your mind isn't always polite, right? Can you keep your child quiet? You're talking too long. It's about time you go home. I know it would hurt me if someone ever said these things to my face. Of course, there are many people who believe that we should always tell each other our true feelings. But that doesn't mean the way of communication in Kyoto should be denied. It's just a different kind of culture. The people of Kyoto are hated in Japan because of two reasons. One, Kyoto looks down on other prefectures. In the past, when Kyoto was the capital, other prefectures in Japan were rural areas. Since the people of Kyoto had too much pride, they believed the people outside of Kyoto were savage and uncivilized. 2. The people of Kyoto are two-faced. Because Kyoto was the capital for so long, the culture of hiding your true feelings has been established. There is something called the Kyoto language, where you need to estimate what the true intention of the spoken words mean. However, the people who actually look down on other prefectures are very, very rare now. Also, the Kyoto language can be thought as a type of kindness too. It's just a different kind of culture. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I personally feel that there are a lot of misunderstandings about Kyoto. If you actually live in Kyoto and try to understand the traditions, it's really not that bad. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so your help would mean a lot. Thanks again. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.